package for a while. <laughs> Look at this. This is the new Gillette Labs exfoliating bar razor. <laughs> I'm excited. I need to open this right now. Let's have a look at this. All right. Whoa. There it is. Look at that. The, I got the black and gold one. There's a silver one as well, but I don't know. I don't know. This is the all black and it's like the matte black. And oh, I don't, yeah. Oh, look at this. That looks nice. That looks like this is like Batman's razor. <laughs> Very nice. That's the exfoliating bar. Got your standard five Gillette blades on there. And it's got this little disc on there. So there's a pivot too. Yep. Blade pivots back and forth. And it also moves side to side, which is good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does it have. Is that. Is that. Is it? It's the precision blade on the back. If you've seen this, but these are the new Gillette Labs razors. They've got a heated version, which is super expensive. And I don't trust myself enough to use a heated razor on my face. But this has got an exfoliating bar on it. But look at this razor. I've been after a matte black razor for a long, long time. And this looks so nice. Whoop, almost dropped it. So nice. <laughs> Forgot about this. I forgot about this. To be a magnetic base. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's not magnetic. Poo. I thought it was a magnetic base. It's not magnetic. It's just a base. So I'm pretty sure it will fall out if I just do this. Yeah, it's just a base. This is magnetic. That's not magnetic. It's just to hold it in place. If it is magnetic, it's like the most minor magnetic ever. But yeah, I like that. That's a nice razor. Batman's razor. Yeah. What's going on? Welcome back to another vlog. So, I don't know if you just saw, I just unboxed that Gillette razor. Oh, I just, I just saw something else. I just saw something else. I need to show you this too. I got not just the razor, not just the razor. I got this Gillette Labs rapid foaming shave gel. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. But yeah, so I got this uh, rapid sh foaming shave gel as well. And I'm going to do a video about this razor and the shaving gel. And it's going to be awesome. Kind of just challenging myself to make some B-roll and just make it epic and make it look good. And I'm going to do about the shaver. It's a nice looking shaver. Why not? I think I'm going to like it regardless. But let me know what you think. So stay tuned if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the like, comment down below, share the channel, share the links, share everything with your friends and family. And if you want one of those shavers, I will leave an Amazon affiliated link down below. So don't forget to buy it through the link because that will certainly help me out. Um, yeah, this is not supported by Gillette or anything. I'm not endorsed by them or anything like that. This is, it's all me. Everything you see on this channel, it's all me. So yeah. So yeah, I just want to do a vlog about me today and how I'm feeling and you know, you can keep updated with me too. So yeah, I've got a few things planned for today. I mean, for starters, as you can see, I haven't shaved. Today's about self-care, but I haven't shaved because you shave. <laughs> but yeah, I will shave. And uh, if you want to see me shave, then stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, and hopefully you'll like that video too. I hope it goes to plan anyway, I really do, but it's, yeah, it's a project and I'm just challenging myself to do more B-roll. And, you know, if I don't challenge myself to do it, who's going to challenge me to do it? No one. So, and yeah, it's, it's nice weather outside. So why don't we go take a walk, come with me and let me just share my thoughts with you.
wanted to just talk about how I'm feeling and overall just have a nice relaxed day. And to be honest, yes, yeah, it's, it's going it's going good. It's nice weather outside. It's still cold, but the sun's out, which is a surprise. If you saw my last vlog, you'll know that it was just our 12 year wedding anniversary. And that kind of got me thinking, like 12 years, it's been a long time and time has flown by. And it got me thinking about my YouTube channel. Now I've been on YouTube for about three years and it just got me thinking that I'm not where I wanted to be. So yeah, that's really what I want to talk about today. If there's one thing about vlogging outside, is you have to deal with the noise. One thing that I'm thinking of recently, it's, you know, I wanted to be further in like my YouTube career. I actually wanted it to kind of take off and I did want it to be like a big YouTube channel, but it's not. And I'm just thinking why I felt like I've been held back. I don't know, recently I've just been really down, you know? I think I spent so much time working, I haven't had any holidays. And yeah, I think after a while you just start to get drained, you know? It really starts to get to you. But you know, I've been thinking about it and at the end of the day, I really do love my YouTube channel. Even if I don't get as many subscribers as I would hope to have done, even if I'm paying for all these tech products out of my own pocket to review and do videos about, it's fine because I enjoy doing it. And, you know, in a couple of years time, my kids are going to grow up and they're going to watch these videos and they're going to see how I used to vlog and, you know, it'll be nice memories for them. Or maybe in another seven years time, you know, I'll turn around and look at my channel and be like, wow, you know, that's where I started. That's where I was. But I think the, the point is, is just don't give up. As I know there's a lot of people out there that run channels and try to make it big and yeah just don't give up if you enjoy it just keep doing it that's the best piece of advice I think I can give is don't give up like keep at it doesn't matter if it takes five years ten years keep doing it because you're you're making new skills you're progressing you're learning new stuff as you go along like I had no clue how to edit these videos when I started, but now it's amazing. Just thinking about where I started and where I'm at now, like I've learned so much about cameras and photography. It's, it's, I've gone so far and I never believed I could get this far, but I have. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Good. Yeah, how you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm okay. Good. <laughs> the mint uh, aero hot, uh, hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> he dropped something on your hot chocolate. Is it hot? Yeah. It's okay. It's, it's, my heart is different to yours. Yeah. It smells like mildly minty. The way you drink it, it's. it's, it's uh... Oh dear God. <laughs> I breath him. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't understand. Maybe they mean <laughs> when I when I drink it, it doesn't taste. My tongue. You take a big a big go. No, it's I didn't. I, <laughs> I just go. I took this much. It was this much. Really small bit. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get like an iced latte without the coffee and the milk, just the ice. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate chip. Yeah, this is triple chocolate chip. Do you want one? No. Sure. <laughs> is it like, is it a biscuit or is it like a tiffin? Have you tried these chocolate tiffins they've got? That's a tiffin. Exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So I was like, it's chocolate. It can't be that bad. Mm. Like, have you ever had a brownie and it's like so chewy? This was like that, but dry. <laughs> <laughs> Sunburst behind me, but I don't know how well 
that's going to go down in the vlog. Yeah, I just like I want, that's why I want, that's why I called you here today because I don't know everything's just like feels like slow down. Feels like I'm not getting anywhere anymore. Oh look, I got that solar watch strap. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you view it? No, it's not my. <laughs> it's not, I don't know what else can I say about it. Is one watch strap? It's, it's a bit tight though. I suppose when thingy, um, I just think that's it. Yeah, but she gets like twenty of them. Yeah. Like, look at all these colours. <laughs> The intro to Quake 2 was one of the most cinematic, like, game intros ever made. Like, it gave me chills every time I watched it. Okay. Yeah, I would just, I'd restart the game just to watch the cinematic thing at the start. Oh, okay. If you haven't seen it, just go on YouTube and find the intro to Quake 2. Okay. Crank the volume up and just watch it. Okay, I'm headed back now. Had a nice time. Met up with my friend. It's been about two months since we saw each other. So yeah, we just went for a coffee and it was all right. Not bad at all. Just wanted some chill out time. Nice to just meet up and do nothing. Yeah, I had a nice time. And you know what, I forgot. When you're wearing a mask and glasses, how much everything just gets steamed up. <laughs> I can barely see anything half the time. I'll tell you, the only thing that gets me though is it's so loud in those coffee shops and stuff. So, yeah, when you want to have a conversation with somebody, you gotta scream across the table. I didn't take any B-roll of the drinks or nothing. But there'll be other times. Today was literally just about chilling out, forgetting about everything, just having some me time. So now it's just a bit of family time and, uh, well, still taking things easy, just reflecting on everything I want to do, coming up with new vlog ideas, new video ideas, and hoping that you're going to be there to watch them when they come out. Like I always say, I really do appreciate all the support. Everyone that does watch, subscribes and likes, it means a lot to me.